Just wanted advice on how to solve this issue. I landed what I thought was my dream job at an investment bank, but I'm treated like shit. I've been tasked on many personal assistant matters like today, getting pulled to a meeting just to bring olive oil possibly for their lunch, and I'm aware of what an analyst job might entail a lot of times, but this is too far. Work hard, standard Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 job. Pay is okay but can be better, and company is stingy about raises. Even pushes back on the yearly inflation rise. Decide to make a change in my life. I'm going to learn to drive, by commuting I can get to the next city over and earn more money. Look up cars and insurance prices. 2. 5 3k British pounds decide I must be looking at the wrong cars. Do plenty of research and find out what cars are seen as being a low insurance group car. It's name after name of vehicles I've already checked the insurance prices on. One liter shit boxes, many are 2010 on newer as recommended. Write off driving because it's not realistic. Depressed and stuck in same job. What exactly are you meant to do? You try to be a good productive member of society and you just get fucked for it. Every day I get up and go to my job, which thanks to furloughed redundant staff and increased workload is increasingly soul-sucking. I spend 40 mins on public transport, an hour and half daily in total, to come home with a salary that's paying for less and less, and any chance of changing that is impossible. Waggy Stories Thread My boss is off today, so I am planning on shitposting on biz until I'm inevitably banned like last Friday. Give me your best waggy stories. Me 21 fresh out of unit. Start job at big accountancy company. I have always been pretty cheap, never understood consumers. Every lunchtime there was a sandwich delivery, about 30 sandwiches, go to the fridge, and you pick one up, if you pay in this monthly. Sandwich fun thing. Work out that, if I am in the kitchen at around 11.30 I can just pick up a sandwich and put it in my bag. Eat free lunch for over a year. Start taking two sandwiches to cover my dinner as well as lunch. Save probably about 5k on food before I left the job. Start planting seeds of doubt into people's mind about who is the sandwich thief. Sandwich scheme stops. Be me. Work hourly retail restaurant. Start working as a waiter and make more money than ever before. Decide it's time for something different with benefits. You know a real job. Resume full of job hopping cause always hopping to the next job which paid more, but slightly since they were all in the same category line of work. No real jobs with real pay now wanna hire me, but always want me to explain to them what I was doing, as if they didn't know. Are hiring managers retarded or something? Of course I was hopping from one job to the next, when they weren't paying well. Why would it even matter anymore at this point now that I'm looking for a real stable job with benefits? The nerve of some people also some interviews I go to lately it seems like they're selling me the job not me actually trying to land the job. Be working as pizza tard. Supposedly just a driver, but you're never just a driver. Whole chain has this thing called customer appreciation day. Pizza's basically 50% off for 4 hours. Usually just a quiet thing on weekdays for lunch regulars. Head office decides this year will be different. They market the shit out of it. Do small trial runs on Facebook or something. They didn't bother updating the computer system though, so we had to do an admin override to get the price right. And above all they decided to have it on a Sunday. It begins, we've stocked up on ingredients and made a double batch of dough. But no preparations could hold out in the oncoming siege. At exactly 1 pm the phones start ringing, they won't stop until we unplug them an hour and a half later. The store quickly starts to fill up. We are understaffed by default. But now we're really understaffed. The trickle of orders has become a torrent. It's standing room only in the customer area. We can't load pizzas into the oven fast enough. The orders keep coming. Estimated wait time creeps over two hours. Deliveries being ignored because we can spare anyone to deliver them. The crowd's initial optimism gives way to hunger and then anger. They loudly complain amongst themselves. Loud cheering whenever someone gets their food. Get told to go to the supermarket because we're out of lettuce. Take this opportunity to smash a Red Bull. Realize I can barely walk straight. 
realize we're only halfway through. The rest is all a blur. Come to work one afternoon. Front window's been smashed in. Ask what happened thinking vandals or something. Turns out three hood boys smashed the window with sledgehammers and stole the till. Funny thing is, they did it after closing so there wasn't any money in the till. It had all been moved to the safe as is universal industry practice. And the cherry on top is that they didn't take the key, which was chained to a grill just below the till. They were arrested the next week pulling the same shit at a different store. And just some short stories. One time the manager figures out you can put twice as many dishes through the dishwasher if you put the next load in after only half a cycle. Happily oiling pans. Franchise owner walkers by and tells me to use more oil. It's literally the cheapest thing in the store. Oils a whole stack just to prove his point. Manager walks past later and tells me off for using too much oil. Managed to fit 120 pizzas in the back of a RAV4 one time. Rolling dough with one to the two other white staff members. Telling me about an hour-long argument that the managers got into the previous day. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. The dude's sides leave the planet for a half hour. About to cross the road after a delivery. Hear a car coming. Like, really coming. Little first-gen RAV4 comes flying past. Hit speed bump so fast it gets completely airborne right in front of me. The only thing I can hear is a poor 2 liter freery ving and this dude's GF screaming. Someone asks me to pick them up a 12 pack of beers on the way to their place. Whatever, sure. They tip me like $60 for being crazy enough to do it. Some dude comes into the store and orders a delivery to his house because it's cheaper than a taxi ride and he gets a pizza. I give him a lift. He's a cool dude, and he tipped me $5 or something. Had three hot chicks from my old school pull the same thing a week later. Didn't leave a tip or suck me off. The fucking cunts. Get breathily five times one night before the cops just started letting me through. Did Be retard. Graduate college. Get shitty temp job for 30 bucks an hour, but no benefits of worth. Job is complete bullshit and a complete waste of time. Oh well. Applying to graduate schools because I don't really want to work yet. Get in. Go from half-assing work to quartering-assing it. Actively pissing off upper management cause shit is funny. Contract expires. Not renewed. Oh well. Now get to collect unemployment for the next four months. Performance review. Give myself 3 out of 5 for interpersonal skills influence on team and organization. Review it with boss, he gives me 2 out of 5. Kill me. Be me. Work for large corporation. Do good work. Get invited to conference in Vegas to win award. Take company's private jet with executive team. Get drunk the night before. Miss my alarm. Dressed like shit. Drive to wrong airport. Make president of multi-billion dollar company wait on tarmac for one hour. Stumble into private jet. Pass out for entire flight. Probably my worst work moment. Somehow everyone still loved me. I have some semi-interesting stories. Be 19. Start in small office. Have sexual tension with this hot 35-year-old that works there. She is taken. Be we always flirt. Make jokes she is my work gf. I'm her work bf. Etc. Six of us work in this small office, so never left alone with her for any extended period of time. One Friday afternoon comes, where it is just me and her, others are on leave, or at a different office for a meeting, and won't be back. It escalates. We lock the office doors, and spend the afternoon fucking. I've never coomed so hard before or since, probably the situation, risk, or whatever. We fuck another two times, before we go home. Regularly meet up outside of work and fuck. She is a typical woman so changes her mind suddenly and randomly one day, and it all stops. Work for a large company. Most wasteful company ever. Would take loads of things home. If I didn't use it, I would sell it. Furniture, desk chairs, cabinets, tables, anything. Computers and computer parts. Batches of full or barely used cans of things like metal lubricants, expanding foam, etc. 
even stuff that was useful, but because the label had partly worn or come off they couldn't be certain of specifics so had to throw it out. Made 1000s from this and pretty much furnished my home. Nobody ever gave a shit, even if they watched me load up my car. Be me. Have been programming for longer than my own boss, who is only 4 years older than I am, and took non-STEM course in college. Boss close to CEO because they were the first hire, but hasn't written any code in about 3. 5 years. I graduated 2 years ago. I have unironically been programming for longer than my own boss. My job has become 50% writing very detailed ticket descriptions in JIRA and writing proposal documents before I can work on anything. Because that's the only way they think they can manage. Time estimates from boss are either 3 hours, which means I am allowed to do something, or 3 months, which means I can't. There is no in-between. If I do not complete a permitted 3-hour task and 3 hours I have to sit for 30 minutes and receive their feedback while we brainstorm ways I could work more efficiently. Boss could genuinely be replaced by a weekly email from their superior and it would be a net positive. Skills stagnating because they don't give me any meaningful work. Stuck for foreseeable future and prospects only declining. I feel myself dying every day. Startups are great if any graduating anons see this avoid startups like the fucking plague. Avoid them at all costs. They look and sound fun, but they are radioactive. Everyone above me has chronic stress and works 12-hour days for no overtime. Find yourself the biggest, most faceless bureaucratic job you can and stay comfy under the radar. There's still time for you. Company forces us back into the office because boomer managers think we aren't working if they can't see us. Monthly safety presentation is sent out via email, entire presentation is about COVID safety, physical distancing, minimizing interactions, etc. We physically have to sign and pass around a sheet of paper to sign off on viewing the email. Unemployed for 18 months. Get 11-week contract at warehouse. It's hard. I hurt. Contract up for renewal. Drag supervisor to his office. I want to renegotiate for a four-day work week. Says you look into it. Later, no. Unemployed. Boy do I have a couple of good ones. Work in small retail shop in a rough area. Shop shuts at 10, but usually there's drug deals outside when locking up. One guy fucked off his nut demands for the shop to open. Not on the clock not my problem. Proceeds to use autistic Rhea and pull the locked doors apart. Walks in and takes one pack of Doritos and leaves. Wrote a note for the morning staff the next day and never questioned again. Another one I remember. Same retail shop. Friday night so pretty busy. Guy comes in drunk trying to start fights with other people. Gets up in the face of a middle-aged man. Dropped. JPEG the guy is twitching on the floor for a few seconds before bolting up. He leaves saying he'll bring his mates to back him up. 15 minutes pass. Same guy who got his bell rung comes sprinting back with four guys jazzing him. All masked up probably some gang shit. Guy then gets beaten up in the shop for a second time. Then calls his mommy to get a lift home. Be me, work from home, work maybe 4 hours a week get paid for 40. Projects moving at snail's pace. Boss emails me think things are a bit slow. Spend an hour setting things up for the next task. Boss incredibly happy with my progress and thanks me for speeding up the project. Only thing is I feel bad cause my boss is a genuinely nice guy. Although he does stress me the fuck out. Get job at billion dollar fortune 50 company right out of college. Shitty tech support job. At first everything is pretty good. Slowly find out I'm being paid 10% less than everyone else. I'm also the go-to person everyone puts their hard work off on. Watches women and minorities get promoted for quota. Getting more and more disillusioned. One day in the bathroom I'm so mad I have a breakdown and for reasons unknown even to myself I pick my nose and wipe boogers all over the bathroom mirrors. And I'm a bonafide boogie factory, lots of boogers big meaty hairy boogers. This continues for years. No one can catch me. Many angry emails sent from managers threatening to fire whoever it was. 
He even got a mad company memo from the CEO about it. I eventually quit the job, but last I heard from a friend who still works there someone else is still doing it. And that's the epic legend of the booger bandit. I wasn't here this day, but my coworker I'm good friends with was this happened yesterday. Work as a lot tech at a Cadillac dealership. Basically wash cars and detail them also do something called ECP, which is basically adding a ceramic coat to a car. New guy comes in and starts acting like he owns the place. Klaber's a car that doesn't need C-L-A-Y-B-A-R-R-E-D a step in the ECP process, doesn't use wax like you are supposed to. Friend tries to stop him says he shouldn't do that and it will fuck up the car. Guy says he knows what he's doing and does it anyway. Fast forward to today. I get in car is on the showroom floor. Salesman approaches me and tells me the car is fucked up and I could tell at least one side is. Pull car outside. Entire car is fucked up scratches everywhere on this brand new BLACK scratches show up super easy on black cars, 50k Cadillac. Salesman is pissed and tells him to buff the entire car. He's currently buffing the entire car and he has 30 more minutes before the customer gets here. At least it's not my ask. Is it really that hard to listen to people that have been doing this shit longer than you? Also all the salesmen are huge faggots minus like two seriously fuck salesmen. F fall for STEM meme. Want to be engineer. First generation college kid, white male. Get good grades, do extracurricular activities, join honor societies etc. Can't get summer internship. Classmates easily get great paying internships leading to full time jobs. Uh, I must be doing something wrong. Find out classmates just use their dads as references. Remaining spots go to diversity hiring. Finally get internship by pretending to be Hispanic. Hate internship, but it's too late in degree to change. Decide to get master's degree for better options. Unemployed for over a year. Finally get job unrelated to both college degrees. I get looked down on by co-workers who are in the fast track rotational program. They all have parents in the company. I should have just studied comp sci. Be me 21 work a retail job at Lowe's for 10 months. I'm a cashier and would use my phone for 70% of my shift. Repeatedly spoken called out by head cashiers for doing it. Called out again for it on my last shift at the time. Finish shift. The next day I take a spontaneous road trip and never clock in again. Might seem a bit dumb, but there's a reason people slack off so much as a cashier. When you have free time you have a lot of free time. It only takes like 5 minutes to tidy up your immediate vicinity. There is no reason to work harder than you have to. Sadly, I gambled all my savings from that year of wages living away. I'm down to under $1k in savings been thinking about the military, but I'm not too keen on the idea. The alternative is dying, I guess. I could do delivery driving, but that is extremely cucked since I have to put wear and tear on my own car just to likely not get tips. Only ever been able to get restaurant jobs. The old bastards that make a career out of it are usually fucking assholes. Normal fags everywhere. If you are talkative, they assume you hate them or something and get downright hostile. Have to watch people who were born with a silver spoon in their mouth have a great time while I'm sweating my ass off working with other retards. Be working at pizza place. Been slow all day, one hour to close up. Suddenly a crowd of people rush in and the place actually get every table filled. I'm talking like 20 tables. WTF. Just me and this old bastard. He does the pasta dishes I make all the pizzas and salads. Moving as fast as I can, this is impossible we need people. Pizzas are getting burned. Fuck. Time to remake. Asshole waiter keeps asking me for his table's pizza like three times. I know this fucker knows him the only one on our end. Throw him a partially burned pizza, here it is fucker. He gets mad and calls me an idiot for giving him a burned pizza. If I wasn't busting my ass making even more pizzas as he said that. I prob would have throw it in his fucking face. Afterwards I shot the shit with the only waiter with a brain and talked about how we have to quit. Only thing I regret is not saying anything to that asshole. It was an open kitchen, so the customers would have heard me, 
but I was a pussy back then. Fuck restaurants. Fuck retail. Need it up till they fix this broken system. 28. I work as a vid admin for the government in a godforsaken research station. Automated 95% of my job within my first three months. I literally only get drunk during work and research investments and shitposting. Now 50% in home office since the Mameflu hit. Home office is literal neat style. I effectively leech tax money at this point and invest that tax money into stocks. If stocks do well I can be fully financially independent in 7 to 14 years. Gonna fuck off then to some Southeast Asian country and live off the passive income. Software internship. Deliver excellent results, told I'm better than the last few interns for this position. A month and my manager grows cold towards me, think nothing of it. Performance review at the end of the internship. Boss says my results were excellent but had problems with my personality. He lays down a laundry list of miscommunications and small issues with my demeanor. I'm still pissed about this years later. This cuck was sitting on problems for months when they could have easily been fixed with a quick one-on-one -on -one session. I understand that I'm a turbo autist, but at least tell me there's a problem instead of continuously saying you're doing great, keep it up. Then dropping all these easily fixed issues on me at the end. Work at store with deli. Normally I am the guy who has to clean the deli. Try to do a good job cleaning the deli. I wipe off the counters, sweep, do dishes, and mop. Takes like 45 minutes per shift to do, but it looks good. Coworkers complain to manager that I take too long to clean deli. Manager reprimands me for taking too long. You want fast? It'll give you fast. Dot stop sweeping and wiping counters, just do dishes and mop. Delhi doesn't look nearly as clean. Nobody notices how dirty Delhi is, co-workers managers stop complaining about how long I take cleaning it, because I basically don't clean it now. All that hard work I did to do a good job never mattered to anyone. Why do I even bother doing a good job? I don't know how to tell him to stop. He thinks it's the funniest thing in the world, but it's disgusting. And he does it on my face. Like literally he stands with his backside toward me, and when I'm not ready, he'll rip a loud one, and I actually feel the gusts of wind coming from him on my face and in my lungs. I'm just an intern and need a return offer, and I've never been too good at standing up from myself, and I don't know what to do. I started sobbing in the bathroom yesterday trying to wash the smell off, I'm literally becoming depressed. Before someone says troll, I really do need advice. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe.